Hey, viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratus, and welcome back to another episode of Salt with Pepper. myself, oh. Pepper. Oh, bloody low. Oh, no, yes, not playing. That's the sequel. Yeah, yeah that's no, not. <laughs> yeah. The sequel. So, welcome back uh, to this uh, little pirate-themed survival game, then, uh, everybody. Now, what are we doing then, Andrew? Well, uh, what are we doing? Uh, that is the I question. Know you're a bit stuck. Yeah, so um, a few things actually to say at the start of the episode before we sort of get into the flow of things. So, um, like thing water. is, yeah, <laughs> in the previous episodes, of course, um, you know, we were sort of just kind of sailing around a bit sort of aimlessly, just going island to island, not really kind of knowing what we were supposed to be doing. And so what I've done is, um, before I kind of even started uh, today's recording session, I actually um, went online, looked at the Salt Wiki, just to get a few what tips and I things. Uh, sorry, who was it who recommended what you were supposed to uh, do? Some dude who texted me out of nowhere, I don't know who he it said, was. Said do some research on salt. Yeah. And Andrew and, was um, like, well, it's, it's, it's chemical formula, ZONAD, it's sodium chloride. Uh, indeed. Not that research. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, so I did a bit of looking on the wiki and things like that, just for hints and tips, things to do just to help uh, make the gameplay a bit smoother, so we maybe have an idea of things we can aim towards. But also, um, probably what some of you watching this will have seen just then is that it just went from sunset to night, and you're probably thinking, hang on, didn't the last episode end when it was already night? It's because... Um, Basically, Phil, just earlier in the day, I was just playing around a bit in this, just testing a few things out. So, the thing is, this island that we're on at the moment, it seems to be a bit laggy when I look in certain directions. I don't know if you remember. Um, yes, I do remember. Yeah. yeah, we had a, yeah. So, I, I basically went around on this island. I was doing a bit of exploration, picking up resources, things like that, and uh, getting food. And I've also figured out, basically, how to now craft campfires. So, you see, I've got one okay. here going yeah. at the moment. Basically, what was a bit sort of confusing was, uh, when I go to the crafting um, crafting journal, or whatever it is, I think it's this one. No, not that one, sorry. Uh, the crafting tab, rather, uh, if I can get it up here. So, basically, to create the campfire, you need the normal logs. And now, I don't know if you can see on the screen at the moment, Phil, because obviously, you know, you're looking at this over Skype. Uh, over yeah. Right there. Yeah. But basically, for some reason, when you put the logs into the crafting thing, there's actually two options for campfire. And one of them says three wood, one flame. And the other one says three wood, two flint. And I don't know why there's two options like that, because basically it's the one with three wood and two flint that you need. I mean, I don't know, like when it says flame, like, do you need to, like, craft an object for that or something? But basically it was just a bit unclear, and I think probably the reason I was having trouble with this last time was because I was looking at this icon here for three wood and one flame, not realising yeah. that for some reason there's another campfire option. So I was able to work out, no, it's the option where you need two flint, that's what you need. Okay. But um, the beauty of actually now having the campfire is you can basically rest until sunrise because you know how dark night is in this game. Yeah, it can be quite dark and quite annoying, so maybe we, yeah, we should rest until it gets daylight. There we go. So, much nine better. hours later. And obviously, it does give you a slight penalty for your hunger, but not actually that much, which is uh, good. Did you find out why it was um, lagging? Is it just... I think not, it's not great optimization. Yeah, I think it's just not great optimization. Um, I don't know the specific there's reason. There's absolutely no way we can. We think it's due to your PC. Because no, because <laughs> my PC is beefy. It should be able to handle this. Um, that's the thing. Now, another thing I was kind of Death Stranding for fuck's sake. Yeah, <laughs> can handle a little survival game. Indeed, yeah. So um, something else I was kind of wondering as well, off camera, is is that Why actually is so amazing? And that be... too. Could there possibly be any more amazingness to his personality? Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I was, I've been wondering that for years, Phil, but uh, that was, wasn't specifically what I was wondering. What I was wondering is, can you cook the deer meat? And I don't... Yeah, nice bit of yeah. so I should have... Um, well, I was going to say, I should have some deer meat on me somewhere. Uh, yeah, I've got three of them on me. I don't, I don't know if you can actually cook it, weirdly. I think you just eat it as it is, which is a bit strange, but at least whenever I've just investigated like with the campfire okay. there doesn't seem to be an option for cook or anything like that right. which is really curious but hey mm. uh, it is what it is and i guess you know i've got three deer meat on me because i've been hunting a little bit so it shouldn't be too much of an issue but uh yeah um so yeah if we just have to eat them as is we just have to eat them as is i mean the thing is if you eat them raw it's still replenishes quite a bit of food anyway yeah it gives you like 360 hunger points which is pretty good um so it's not too much of a biggie something else though i learned um from the wiki 
apparently on the islands there are certain trees where there's fruit growing in them and apparently if you knock them with a weapon sometimes it causes fruit to drop or you can like what use your fruit uh i don't know um it just says fruit apparently so i was experimenting with that a bit uh, off camera earlier in the day i didn't manage to get any fruit i don't see any trees that appear to have fruit on them because i think you're supposed to be able to see it but that's something just to bear in mind. Maybe we can try it when we get to other okay. islands yeah. and just see if... I remember yeah. the, uh, we, <clears throat> when I uh, used to come round to your house, we actually looked at the uh, wiki for Stranded Deep. Yes, we did. Because we, we were unsure of all the crafting recipes and everything. Yeah. So I remember we having a look at that, and we actually wrote it all down. Yeah. Uh, to, which, was, which was a good idea. Indeed, yeah. Now, uh, something else I've learned about this island from my exploration early on... There's quite it's a quite lot green. of... Uh, it's quite green, that. There's also a lot of very hostile big spiders, apparently, on this island. Oh, um, good. So I had to fight a few of them, and I've actually got somewhere in my inventory, if I can find it, uh, I've got a load of spider guts now that apparently I can be use, okay. I can be using as bait for fish. So uh, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for any uh, spiders. Wait, I killed a few fish. already, yeah. I don't think fish in, in the real world like spider guts. Well, I don't know. Fish, they're not picky eaters. Uh, they usually eat anything and all that. Neither am I. Really, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, you'll eat a good spider gut, won't you, Phil? Exactly. If you <laughs> Get a bit of uh, fermented spider eye. Yeah. Minecraft reference and all that. There we are. Yeah, but um, something else I found on the island, there's a couple of um, merchants on this one. Um, so there's one who's like a normal merchant who just sells some kind of loot box or something. And there's another one who's like wearing armour who you can buy all kinds of stuff from, but it costs a lot, uh, as you'd imagine. And apparently you can yeah. actually get like a couple of ships from him, which is interesting. Yeah, so I remember seeing uh, we can make ships and stuff. Like, yeah. Proper, so that really... I think it might be a yeah, goal, that. Yeah. I think that's really the goal that you're supposed to be kind of working towards in this game, building ships. So I was looking on the wiki again, and it says there's all kinds of different ships you can potentially get your hands on. But... Brilliant. Uh, some of them you can craft. Some of them you get rewarded, uh, get rewarded them as, like, f f fulfilling certain quests. So that's the thing. But... Um, Basically, the gist is, you just have to really kind of explore in this game. Go sailing around, see what you can find. And here's one of the merchants I was just talking about. I think this is the one who just sells the loot box. Um, hmm, let's have a look. Right, and was that expensive? Yes, it needs like 92 gold. Adventurer's loot box. Contents are yeah, unknown. Mm. I, I, I said this last time. All of the merchants and the people always look like they're really heavy breathing. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> uh, I just ran. Indeed. Uh, I've already got 77 gold coins, um, so it's not far off 92, but that's the thing, unless I could sell him something, that's the question. What's um, the style? How do we obtain gold coins? I think from trading uh, with these kind of guys. So maybe I could give him the deer antlers, actually. Can I sell those to him? Yeah, I think I can. There you um, go. Sell both Useful. of them for 20, yeah. Okay, and there we go. Well, animal fact, it's yeah. only male deer who have antlers. Mm, there you go. Female deer or does, yeah. do not have antlers. I think doe. the male deer is called a buck. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Female deer is a doe. Yeah, of yeah. course, doe. A deer, a, a female, female deer. deer. <laughs> there we are. Uh, so now I have 97 gold. So technically I could buy this adventurer's loot box uh, for 92. Gold. So I think we might as well do that then, Phil. We'll, uh, we'll see what the loot box contains. Yeah. So let's uh, purchase that bad boy. And then we unlock it. What do we get? Open it. Oh, no, I don't want to sell it back. Hold on. I have to get oh, yeah, out get of out. that. <laughs> Uh, where is it? It should be down here. Adventurer's loot box. Open the lockbox. Ooh, what do we got? We got a map to Sea Treasure Hunter. It's a map to an Ooh. island where a sea treasure hunter is known to live. Nice. The map shows an island at location 1 west, 2 south. And we also got an adventurer's cloak. Increases stamina regen speed. Provides 3 armor, 2 oh, stamina regen. Yeah. Uh, set bonus, 0, 5 increases your strength or something. I guess that's something you can add to it. Also, um... Whilst uh, I was playing off camera, I did also get this hero's coat um, from something else uh, that I found on this island, um, which basically actually increases stamina, regen, speed as well. This actually, I think, is better though. I know I am. It's just because I was experimenting. That's all, um, and just exploring the island. Because the thing is, because this is a bit of a laggy island, I just thought, you know, we'll try and get much of the stuff on here done um, so that we can move on. I think it was like spotting a fly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got this adventurous cloak, which, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's as good as the hero's yeah, cloak that I've got. Well, yeah. Maybe we can actually just sell it back to the merchant for money. Oh. Imagine that. 
Yeah. <laughs> just imagine. Yeah, yeah. I know he can do hmm. that in these games, but just imagine if that was a thing in real life. Oh, can I have this? Please? Yeah, you like you go into your local supermarket, you buy like an orange. Uh, no, I don't like this. I'll, can, I'll give it you back now. Yeah, <laughs> I have actually sold it back to him, and I got quite a bit of uh, gold from it as well. Oh, so I'm back to 35 gold coins. Now, are the islands procedurally generated, or do they have a set um, sort of? Now that I'm not sure about, I think to some extent maybe they are, but having said that, that map that I just picked up, um, this map to the Sea Treasure Hunter actually gives coordinates, so maybe yeah. some of them are not actually procedurally generated. The thing is, I've just noticed I've actually already got a couple of uh, maps already on yeah, me. So the one we just well, picked up was map to Sea Treasure Hunter, but the other two that I seem to have in my inventory here are map to Sea Hunter and map to Ruins. So right. maybe we need to be figuring out how to look for coordinates so we can actually get to these things. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, though. Um, so I've got a compass. Apparently something else that's worth crafting is a sextant. Um, I don't exactly know what it does, but apparently it's just worth crafting it. So we'll look into that in a second. Things to craft. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I remember last time we... Uh or maybe, maybe it was the last episode of the episode before we, because uh, we were getting confused, we came to the same place with the original blue beard who gave us the quest. Yeah, the original dude. Um, so, that's the thing. I think we were just going in circles, probably. There we go. Back to that. Get some stuff. Lovely. Was there another rock over here that was? Yeah. There Boom. we go. Boom. Looks a bit like an egg. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, get those. Boom, got those right. Um, I've forgotten where my campfire actually was, but it doesn't matter. Um, Just checking out the island, and yeah. Making, uh, Pretty much making our progress. Yeah. At least we've at least you've had a little read of the wiki. Yeah. Uh, to establish various bits that need to be done, because I think without that we would have still been at a loss yeah we'd have still just been sort of wandering around a bit kind of aimlessly um so something else also that again I'm, I'm referring a lot to the wiki here but i've just been learning so much um obviously at the moment we've been just using the bog standard sailing raft um apparently you can get like a proper sailing boat uh, which is kind of like a step between the raft Good. and actually having a ship um, so maybe that'll be something to look into. Um, yeah. yeah. Get, get us a bit of an upgrade. Yeah, indeed. So does it say in here? Boat, sailboat. Uh, seven hardwood, four cloth. Now, do we have sufficient cloth? That is the question. Get, have um, a look. Yeah. Who can, what can you get cloth off? Um, I'm just wondering, can you make it with plant fibres? We can make crafting rope. Let's oh, have a look yeah, at these here. Cool. Um Fine material. Mm, I don't see. I see a lot of clothes, but I don't see cloth. Uh, right. Anything to do with cloth on there, so maybe it's not that. Cloth okay. swatch. That makes bandages. Um, bandages. 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 Yes. Actually, that, that, that can flow into a question uh, mm -hmm. I've just thought. Have you ever been on a, a sailboat or uh, a boat? Oh, yeah. Um, I've been on. Yeah, I've been on a few different kinds of boats before. Um, for example, like going on uh, old family holidays, like the Greek islands in the Ionian, places like that. Uh, we'd go on things like island tours where they'd have like a big boat and they'd, you I know, a load boat. of people, yeah. and we'd sort of like go between islands. So I've been to. You have know, you had like, any relatives <clears throat> who've like owned their own boat? Because for me, I have. Really? Uh, I think they've sold it now, but my auntie and uncle used to have their own boat. Yeah. Uh, which they'd used to go around the Caribbean. They'd used to have a, a thing every. Um, like between, oh, I've forgotten the dates, but they go for like six months. They've had to um, sell it now because they've got loads of grandchildren. Yeah. So they want to look after them and uh, be with them. But they and I've been and I went on their boat and it was really quite quite an experience. Not no good if you're seasick. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that we did have a. It was quite an interesting little time. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I don't think anyone in my family has ever owned a boat. Um, but uh, you know, my old man, for example, made me old da. He's been like sailing around um, the Ionian with not friends your before. Old dar, you're not Irish. I know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make this um, sextant here, which I just mentioned a moment ago. So let's craft that. Yeah. Sorry. So what, what were you saying about your dad? Uh, yeah, he's um, he once went on a sailing uh, holiday um, with some friends. Um, from you know his days when he was in the police ah. and all that, so um, yeah, he's done that. And um, he one thing he did say is that it's not something he would want to repeat because they were on like a like a yacht, not like a luxury yacht, like an actual sailing yacht. Um, sailing yacht yeah, that's which of course of means 
Okay, really fine. cramped interior. Basically, think of the yacht in the forest. That kind of yacht. Yeah. Um, well, no, it's not. That one in the uh, in the forest wasn't that cramped. It wasn't that sort cramped. Of what my but... auntie and uncle had. Yeah. You could easily move around uh, in the uh, underneath in the galley sort of area. Yeah. Um, Bear in mind, though. On his little sailing trip, it wasn't just him and one other friend. It was like about four of them, four or five right, people. So it was much more cramped. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to take this deer out because I've got deer a little bit things. better. Yeah, I've got a little bit better at the hunting uh, off camera in this game. Basically, I uh, think this seems to be the only animal. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? At least the only there one. Are any other animals mm. are there? Unless maybe there are on other islands. Who knows? All right, let's get him. Shoot him up the butt. Bonk. Okay, we there we go. And lead the They're shot. Like that. Boom, Not there we go. Got him. Now that's how you lead the shot, Phil. There you go. Exactly. You got to, oh, yes, you've got to do it. It's all about doing that, isn't it? Yeah. Is there a sort of wind element in this? Um. Yeah, here it comes. Are you ready? Oh, there we go. There was the wind. Yeah. Also, I'm just going to uh, turn the music down a little bit because uh, it just came in all of a sudden. Uh, here it yeah, is up do, here. Yeah, do that because I've noticed some of our recent ones. Uh, I'm quite quiet. There we go. That's better. Nice. Lovely. Right. So, right, we've been gathering all kinds of resources off there. Because, um, write in the comments how much of my dulcet tone you love hearing. Oh, yes. Everybody loves hearing Phil's dulcet tones and all that. All right, let me uh, see if we can put that. So I can put that in slot nine. Okay, so the... Right, so the sextant, okay, I just tested it out by pressing 9, and because I bound it to a hotkey, basically it tells you your coordinates. That's good. Ah, so this is probably well, how you we find. Need that treasure map. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're at 1 west, 10 south. Okay, that's good. That means now we might be getting somewhere, which is Making great. Making progress. That's, that's what right. we're today's society. So if we're currently at 1. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to set that there. Hold on. So the map to the sea treasure hunter. Um, location is 1 west, 2 south, so we could potentially set sail for this one, I'm thinking. Um, that's what I'm thinking, Phil. So, yeah, because we're at 1 west, 2 south, uh, sorry, 1 west, 10 south. Yeah. So, yeah, if we use that in combination with our compass, we might be better. Can, can, can you put that? Hold on, let me just, um, it keeps resetting things back to... Right. There we go. There Put go. that back to Popped nine. There we are. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, so we're at one west, ten south. Let me uh, just get my friggin' raft and uh, stick it in there. My shitty raft, indeed. Right. Um, so what we want to do is get our compass out. I'm cut away. So we are facing east at the moment. So we probably want to go round to the other side of the island, actually, now that I think about it. Well, hang on. Right. right, hold on. We can wander off to the other side of the island then. Let's see if we can find some uh, treasure. Yeah. <laughs> God, it's a bit laggy when I look in this direction, but uh, no worries. So the uh, what's the green bar? So the green bar um, is the hunger. Hunger bar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, blue bar stamina. I can That's see right. that going down, and red bar will be health. Yeah. Because it's all because the red bar is always health in a video game. Indeed. So, yes. Something related <clears throat> to red. Yeah. Ooh, there's a couple more logs over here that I didn't pick up. Hold on. Get that. And this one over here. Like so. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely seems to be certain directions when I look in. It just freaks out a bit. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's stabilising a bit as we go over here. Actually, I say oh, there's an I island straight away over onto the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> indeed. All right. Let's keep going. One west now at 11 south. Okay, all right. Um, let me whap down the old raft over here. What was the here. coordinates of the, of the actual treasure? So yeah. it was um, two west, ten south, I think it was. It two said. west, ten south. Okay. Can I get this a bit closer up here? Hold on. Oh, God. Jesus. Come here. There we go. It's in. Right, uh, swim out to it. Just go a little swimming and jump on. Board, there we go. I don't know, do we have any uh, marine creatures? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Like um, or anything. Yeah. Okay, right, we're facing south at the moment, so if we just sort the sail out, we'll head off in this direction. And hopefully then it should tell us some stuff. Right. Go over here. Okay, we're right, doing it. Okay. Right, once again. I'm at location 1 west, 11 south. Okay. We just. Um, I wonder what sort of uh, treasure will be available. Yeah. 
could be absolutely shit, we just don't know. It could be, for all we know. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I don't know if I'm... Hmm, hold on. Let me just lower the sail, slow us down for a moment. Uh, so... Okay, so, really... If north is directly, sort of, behind us, then west, I think, will be over that way. I think. Uh, yeah. So, hang on, maybe we need to steer around a bit. That's this what I'm is, thinking. Uh, a test of your compass reading skills. Yes, it is. And directions <laughs> as well. Yeah. <laughs> so turn us around a bit more. Right, line her up. Do you have a mnemonic for uh, remembering uh, which way around the, uh, direction yeah. of the cardinal? Yeah. It's never eat shredded wheat, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the big one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> never that's eat the shredded one. wheat. Yes. Or shredded wheat. Okay. Why, why should you never eat it? Well, who knows, eh? <laughs> it's like uh, Roigaviv, which is supposed to name the colours of the rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Red and uh, all that, and the other ones. Of course, that you did that. I, I didn't like even bother anything. trying. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you only like red, because general red. Mm. Well, you know, blue is my favourite colour. Don't forget that from the Stanley Parable and all that. Well, not yes. just the Stanley Parable, also the uh, when I did the um, those questions. Yeah. As well. Indeed. Yeah. What did I say? Mean green blue, I said. Green so blue. I like green and blue. Yeah. Cyan. Cyan. Or turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. I think Good cyan colours. is more green than blue, and turquoise is more blue than green. Something like that, isn't it? Yeah. That sort of... Uh, Indeed. Okay. Uh, alignment. Right, I'm at two west now. Let me just um, stop that, so we stop in the water. Okay. See, now we're navigating. Now we're cooking with gas a little bit. So now it's... Um, hold on, let me figure this out. So... I oh know we need to be at 1 west. Okay, 2 south. 1 west, 2 south. So am I supposed to be heading north then to get the south down, probably? Um, hang on, if I turn around like this... Bring around, that's it. Okay, steal that like that. So the compass way. comes around like that. So we should be going north, I think. Because I think the red side of the needle on the compass means north, if I'm not mistaken. It does. It always does, not it? I think in everything. You always yeah. refer to the, uh, the red part. Remember, it, it's magnetic. Indeed. Follows right. the Earth's call. Yes. So now I think we're actually uh, making a bit more... Well, something a bit more akin to progress, in essence. Right. Okay, so hopefully the south kind of coordinates should start creeping down at some point um, as we move along. It might take a while, though. I'm not sure. It just depends how far this uh, island is. That's the only thing. And, and hope, well, hopefully we get something useful out of it. Yeah. <laughs> out of this treasure. I Indeed. Mean, it, must be, it must be of some value. Must be. Sea Treasure Hunter Island and all that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is just the island we were on, so we'll have to just sort of bypass this and keep going on. Actually, it's quite a big island. It is quite a big one, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Right. This may take a while, though. A bit of a sailing, I do think. We may end up having to stop off on islands en route, depending on how far this is. Oh, shit, I'm about to hit... Oh, fuck, wrong way. Fuck, I just hit oh, the island. Oh, we've, we've crashed. All right, hang on. Let me just... Uh, if I just go off, I can reset the raft if I pull it yeah, over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can sort of cheat a little bit like this. Okay. Get it over this side at Thailand, as you do. There's my Northern Englishman accent coming in there. Thailand. To Thailand, Phil. Here we are. And boom. There we go. Put it there. And on. Board the raft. Sail down. There we go. Right, let's get moving. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Nope, don't steer me like that. Turn it round. Back in this direction. Okay. Okay. Straighten her up. Good. There we go. All right, let's have a look at the sextant again. Okay, 10 south. We are creeping it down a bit. That's good. Right. Right, let's uh, steer around a little bit more, just so she's going on a more northerly heading. There we go. You see? I'm getting my sailor game on, Phil. Getting some treasure. Yes. Hmm. Ah, sorry, sipping water. There we go. We've had a big recording session today, haven't we, Phil? 
We've done quite, we've done uh, yeah, we've done quite a fair few. Yeah. Um, GeoGuessr, okay. FML. Hmm. Which is why my voice might be a bit croaky. Because we were uh, talking and talking and talking. Absolutely. Because we are talking bitches. Talking bitches. That's who we are indeed. All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I think I'm just trying to think of all the games you've got. Which, which, uh, because we've got quite a lot of survival games that uh, require you to go into the water and have a swim. So we've obviously got... Uh, we've got this, we've got salt, we've got stranded deep, we've got raft, yeah. uh, we've got the forest. Oh um, yeah, technically, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, you can do it in the forest. Yeah. Uh, what else? Where else can you go out and take a boat onto the sea? Um, just think what the games we've got. Mm. Yeah, I just wonder if there are any. I do actually have a game uh, in my Steam library called Windbound, which right. um, is... It has elements of survival to it, so yeah. I guess it is kind of a survival game. But it, it's it's kind of um, I think uh, kind of like um, how to describe it. It's like Zelda Breath of the Wild meets kind of um, or kind of a game like this almost because it involves a lot of sailing. Apparently, we have like a canoe boat type thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll do that at some point on the channel because it looks quite colourful and pretty. So That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. yeah, indeed. I think we'll make a stop off on this island over here, Phil. Okay. Just um, yeah, it's starting to get dark again. Yeah, we'll probably need to put a campfire up and rest so we can skip the night. Otherwise, it's going to get very dark, old boy. And, and in this game, yeah, when it's dark in this game, it's difficult to see things. Yeah, I mean that thing. That's the thing. It is kind of realistic in that sense because obviously, you know, we're in a yeah, world here without street lighting, so of course it's going to be very dark. Um, it makes sense and all that. All right, let me do some at crafting, so if I've got my planks there get and campfire up, absolutely. my so we'll get the night. flint campfire, there we go, craft that bad boy, like this, then I think we, where do we get it out from, we get it out from here, and we put it down somewhere where it'll go, maybe down here somewhere, or I go there, yeah I can go there, there ah, we are, nice, we have, light. we have light indeed, and so now we can rest until sunrise, so skip the night, and there we go. Oh, <laughs> you see the stars flying through the sky? Oh, God. It is now raining and it's suddenly very laggy. What the hell? Jesus, like dropping okay. to 10 FPS. Well, that's not good. Jesus. Can I... Is there a way for me to turn off the rain or anything? Because that is ridiculous. Good Lord. You've got a beefy PC. I know. What's going on? It's the only thing with this game. Like, certain things of it are just not very well optimised. Ah, there's a thing up here. Is that a... I assume you'll be able to turn the rain off anyway. No. <laughs> That's the thing. God, I'm getting less, less than 10 FPS now. That's pretty bad. Um, Come on, creators. Get yeah. game sorted. I know. Optimise it like an optimising optimiser. Yes. Good lord. God, it's like the days of my old PC, isn't it, Phil? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Which you st do you still have? Do I still have, have it, it, yeah. I don't um, know why you still have it. Well, well yeah, I keep it because... Sell it or something. Yeah, I keep it because, um, in essence, there might be like games um, that are older, which I want to play, but which might actually work better on my old PC, rather than on this one. Like um, my Grom Terror and Tibet series, that one actually worked better on my old PC than it actually oh, did, did it? on this one. Oh, yeah, okay. indeed. Why really? that was the case? Yeah, Jesus. That fucking rain. Okay, then suddenly I look in this direction and it suddenly starts... Oh no, never mind, it didn't. So, that's... I was about to say the FPS momentarily stabilised, but no it didn't. It dropped right. again. Yes, it's the rain. Right, let me just let me just check. Maybe there is like a setting somewhere. Oh, viewers don't want to keep going, hear you going on about your FPS all the time. I know, but it's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see. Is there anything to do with weather effects or... Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, okay well, well, there you go. That's the setting. We just you. have to deal with it, ladies and gents. We What's just that? Have to Is that a massive rock? Then? Yeah, it's a rock that I can't really do anything with. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't think you would be able to. No. <laughs> it's uh, too huge. Yeah. <laughs> That's <what> now, she said. <laughs> that is indeed what she said about the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That's it. There we are. All right. That's. Interesting career path. Yeah. 
a, a weightlifter. He was. Uh, he's into, uh, well, now he's obviously makes loads from uh, films. Yeah, he does. Can I destroy this? Apparently not. I wonder no. who would win in a fight, him or well, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Good question. Right, is it me? Fucking, this volume keeps, like, going up again. It's a bit weird. There we go. Oh, is it? That's is a bit it weird. Going up again? Yeah, it's just really weird. Have you ever had sometimes that kind of glitch in games where, like, something starts happening in game and, like, the, it's really loud, but when, when you go to the vol volume settings and as soon as you start tweaking them, suddenly it goes really quiet? No. It just did that. Well, then. Anyway, uh, it's very weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a guy over here. Who's this? No, I've never had that because I'm expert and professional. Of course you are. Now, are you a. Oh, you've got okay. a fishing rod. It's like a fisherman. Are you heavy breathing again? Yeah. He is indeed. You are. Uh, what are you selling? Another adventurous loot box for 92 gold. We're not going to be able to buy that. Grubs for bait. Okay, I wonder if we could okay, sell him... Fishing. Yeah. I wonder if we could sell him maybe some of the grubs that we got, because we've got a few of them. Ah, yes, and he's a fisherman. Yeah. A perfect thing to sell. Yeah, he'll give us a little bit of gold uh, for them. We'll sell four of them. There we go. Gives us a tiny bit. Takes us up to 43. Leaves us with a few in case we want it. Do you want some deer guts? Bait for fish? You want some of that as well? How much will you give for that? Oh, only one per thing. Okay. I'll sell you six of them. There you go. Just sell them a few odds and ends so we can use them. What about spider goods? Perfect. Do you want those? Well, you give you three per one, so fuck it, I'll sell all of them yeah. to you. There are some RPGs, I think Skyrim does it, where if you sell the right sort of thing to them, so if you like sell uh, arrows to a Fletcher, you'll actually get paid more Yeah. Than if, you would, uh, if you would sell the arrows to a, a, a general store. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Skyrim does that. Indeed. Right. And there are other uh, RPGs that do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, yeah, we're sort of facing FPS. towards the north oh. over here. There we are, yeah. I said FPS, I meant RPG. Yeah, why did you say FPS? Good lord. Initially. You silly sausage. There we are. Right, so, put that in there. Let's get on the raft again. Here we are. Activate that. Okay. Right, we're sailing away again. Yep, we are indeed. We're just going to see if we can get to, I think it's two south, and that way um, then it's just a matter of going to one west. And it's bloody laggy on here, good lord. So, is two south where we need to be? Two south is, yeah, two south, one, we uh, one west, that's right. So we'll sort of try and sort out the south southerly heading at the moment, then we'll sort of steer around and try and get to one west. I mean, having said that, if it's an island, it'll probably come into view as we get near it. We'll probably right. see it, yeah. If it is indeed going to be an island. I would assume so, yeah. All right, seven south. We are getting there, slowly. Slowly but surely. What's the west that we need to be at? Uh, one west. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, one west. So we'll probably need to steer slightly to the east, because I think at the we moment... We're currently at two west. Yeah, I think we are at two west. Okay, so. Yeah. We don't have to move far for that. We won't move far, no. Okay, we're slowly moving, though. we just got to go across the sea, that's all. Yeah, and there's it, no marine yeah. creatures either. No. No, we left that island behind. Hopefully there wasn't anything uh, amazing on there, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, we're hopefully getting some treasure that will turn out to be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently with the coordinates, again, because um, I was just looking on the wiki... So when you start the game, the island that you start out on is basically like zero zero in terms of coordinates. It's like point zero um, in the world. So uh, we've just been sailing around kind of blindly. So hence yeah, the need to like kind it, of yeah find our way around like this. Okay. Okay. If I sort of look down at the deck of my raft, it actually stabilizes the FPS. It's when I'm looking towards the horizon, it just seems to be an absolute bitch about it. Okay. You probably just noticed the uh, difference in frame rate then, didn't you, Phil? <laughs> the, uh, I'm not talking about your bloody frame rate. Frame rate? You want to talk about, about frame, frame rate? Because, you know, it's my favourite go-to subject. Hmm. Ah, sip more water. There we go. What south are we at there now? We are at 6 south. Okay, so, so it's taken a while, again. but we are slowly getting towards where we need to actually be. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You probably just heard my voice give a little bit then. There we are. Right, keep sailing over there, slowly but surely. So, Phil, how's life treating you at the moment? Uh, I think 
he's doing me all right. Yeah, doing, doing you all right. All right yeah, he's doing me well. okay. Yeah, work's easing off at the moment since we're uh, kind of on the um, countdown now to the summer break uh, that we get. Oh, do you get a summer break? Yeah, yeah. that'll be good. Yeah, because uh, you're always seeming to be marking tons of essays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, I have got marking to do over the summer break as well. Well, not proper marking, second marking, as we call it, but which is not right. as bad. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad, though. It'll be fairly relaxed. We don't really get a summer break. Um, Just work through, yeah. Work through, yeah. But yeah. probably book off stuff, mm. yeah. That's the thing, though, you know, the... Uh, educational institution I work at, compared to other universities, we don't get as long in terms of breaks. Yeah. So that's worth noting. Because I know, like, with universities, you can have, like, break periods of, like, a couple of months. But yeah, not there are. To, I, remember, yeah. I remember when I was at uni, um, there'd be huge breaks. Yeah. Especially, like, yeah. over, you know, summer, things like that. Because, like, you know, your lectures and things would finish at, like, end of June or something like that. And then you'd have, like, all of July, all of August, all of September. And then you'd start again in October. Yeah. Mm. Uh, there's, I know that um, this this Friday some schools have finished. Yeah, <laughs> they've just had that. They've uh, they've finished now for the uh, uh, break. To, but uh, do they really need a break? I mean, they've been away from school for. Yeah. Well, you know, they've still been doing obviously schoolwork um, over lockdown yeah. and all that. So it's not really quite a break, but yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I remember in in uni, some people would. Um, not quite go as soon as as soon as the lectures end. They would just finalise stuff and then they would uh, set off to go home. Yeah, they would. Uh, so it went. All right, we're getting slowly you'd closer. You'd have to uh, pick up all. I remember when we, we'd have to go and pick up all our stuff because uh, we'd move into the next year. Which yeah, was fun. <laughs> indeed. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I just remember that at the university I went to, like summer break would be so long. Um, and then, like Christmas break as well, usually was quite, quite that substantial. Was quite a big one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't get four weeks off of that. Yeah, it's like a full month in essence. <laughs> Indeed, and of course you get reading weeks as well at certain points yes, in I the terms. I think you only ever got one though. Yeah, it was like was it like one per term, something like that? Um, yeah, and you'd get a week off, but it was supposed to. Everyone just did it to, to fuck around, but you're supposed yeah. to use it to study. <laughs> you are, yeah. That's the thing. Okay. Get in the library. Yeah. Okay, we're nearly at our south coordinate. Nice, nice. Right, then it's just a matter of sorting out the west one. I mean, I don't see any island. Oh, there's an island over there, actually. Um, I wonder right. if that's where we need to go. Maybe. Um, Is it coming into view? Yeah, I can just see it very vaguely. You probably can't see it, actually, on Skype. Um, but, yeah... Well, slowly but surely, we're uh, we're making it. Okay. Um, now, having said that, it did say one west on the map. We're currently at three west. So maybe it's. Hang on. If that's if we're sort of facing north now, then that'll actually be west over there. So actually, that might be a further western coordinate. So actually, the island in question might be so off over the, there. What's the um, reason why? Uh, what's the reason why your university doesn't have as long holidays? It's because. Although technically I'm employed by um, a you know usual higher education institution, because uh, I work for a department that's contracted to do military education, because we work on a military site, they yeah. you know run to a different timetable, and we usually we have courses going on more frequently throughout the year. Right. So oh, naturally, okay. you know, our courses end up because um, that's the thing. Our main client is uh, UK Armed Forces, so you know they're constantly at work. So. Um, Naturally, yeah. their professional development courses um, run fairly continuously. Right. Yeah. Makes so, sense. hence why we get shorter holidays. Uh, that's the thing. Right. I think now what we need to do okay. is so if it's at one west and we're at three west at the moment, now I don't think it's that island over there. I think it'll be another island, possibly off in this direction. I'm right. thinking. So, yeah, so we need to steer around as though we're going eastward. So that way, because we're at three west, we'll need to get to one west. So if we sail eastward, that should be where we need to be, I think. Um, so let me just hang on, steer it around a bit more. There we go. Right, let me just look. So if... 
Hang on, let me just wait for the compass needle to line up. So if north... Yeah, north is... Hang on. Uh, hold on, if that's... Now it's north over there. We need to steer it round a bit more, I think. Um, hold on. Right. Have we have we achieved the south? One? I think we've achieved the south one. Yeah. If I. Okay. So we need to go. Yeah, we're at two south, so we're in the right southerly direction. I think it's just lining the raft up, so then we're proceeding due east. Um, okay. Right. Turn it round a bit more, like this. Oh, not like that. Sorry. Like this. There we go. Just keep steering it round a little bit. That's it. Okay, so that way now, the north, yeah, okay, so now we should be going east, okay, right. Right, okay. Sail back down, let's get moving again. So hopefully there should be an island now off in this direction, and that should and be the island that we need, ladies and gents. Give us the treasure. Yeah. No doubt once we get there, though, we'll have to find where the treasure is, that's the question. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh, hang on a sec. Um, I need to steer it around a bit. Hold up. No, not that way. This way. Okay. Just make, go. Yeah, you just got to make sure the alignment's all correct. Yeah. So get to the right sort of area. Wait, hold on a minute. Now the fucking needle is pointing... North needle's pointing directly south. That's not right. Um, hold on. Slow down. God. Durr. Take that in. Just slow down a sec. Right, hang on, if I look this way, yeah, so we need to be turning, no, not that direction, a bit more back round this way, I think. Maybe, uh, hang on, just wait to see where the compass, no, actually, yeah, 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 this, no, right, right no, 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 I'm going right. west again. God, I'm getting confused here with this thing, because it's like spinning around all over the place. Um, yeah, this is how compasses work. Yeah, they do, I know, <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Don't get lost somewhere, Andrew. Knowing me, I probably will get lost. Uh, right, it should be going in the sort of right direction now, or... Oh, wait, there is an island straight over there. Hold on. Okay, we... Oh... Is this the right one, though? That's the question. Still at two south, which is good. Um, well, we'll just head to this island over here, basically. All right. So north is off. That way, yeah. That way. So hang on, that would mean we're going west here. Hold on. Shit, is this right? Am I doing this correctly? I don't know. Um, or was I supposed to do a 180? Oh, shit. Um, I'm getting very confused. Um, right. Yeah, because... That looks like, yeah, we are sort of going more in a... <laughs> fuck me, good lord. Should we, should we leave this for next time? Yeah, maybe we should leave this for next yeah. time. So I feel like we are making progress. Hang on, I'll have to just... I want to just make landfall. We'll, we'll stop off on this island and then we'll get our bearings. So actually, it looks like there might be stuff on this island, potentially. Potentially, maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it sure looks like there might be a big building, like a treehouse thing or something. There we go. Yeah, yeah. it looks another big island. This... Uh... I don't know if this is it, this is all procedure generated or just not. Well, there's uh, a campfire just... off over there. Someone's okay. on the island. Uh, oh god! Let me just steer it round so it knocks into the island. Here we go. And oh god! Oh god! And crash. If the rain could stop, that would be really nice because it means I can barely fucking look up without the FPS dropping like a I don't stone. Think the rain's going to stop. I will no, be honest. it's not. All right. Uh, let's just see who's by the campfire. It's a big one, by the looks of it. Is that a hostile right. or is it a merchant? Let's oh, have a look. yeah, I forgot there might be hostile yeah. pirates. What's that on the floor? Oh, it's a hardwood log. We'll get that, definitely. Hello, hello. It looks like a merchant, I'm guessing. Oh. Oh. Is that there? Is that. Coals. Ah. Burning yeah, like a... coals. Yeah. What are you, a fucking just blacksmith or something? Oh, Jesus. Ah, he's a blacksmith, yes. To make Quite sword. possibly. Whoa, okay, he's got some interesting stuff that he sells. An ancient right. war blade, um, obsidian gauntlets, obsidian breastplate, obsidian greaves, obsidian boots, obsidian helm, a salvage tools, tools to salvage materials from some weapons, sharpening stones, defensive potion, or a sword of obsidian. 
I see. Oh my god, he's got some stuff. Yeah, he has got some stuff. Well, um, it was actually wow. good to uh, arrive here. I think this might be a good place to uh, wrap this episode up. Yeah, we um, can get some stuff off him next time. Yeah, yeah. plus because, uh, you know, I think we need to wait for this rain to blow over. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me there, Phil. Absolutely. Uh, we've, we've actually made good progress, I yeah. feel, and uh, we've got somewhere. Next time, Treasure Hunt. Indeed. You know, this is just one of those games which I sometimes think to myself it would be good to play more of it uh, every so often, just to uh, keep up to date, especially now that I've looked at the wiki and I feel like I've got and a better sense. The yeah. The better sense of uh, what it is that you can actually do in this game. Because apparently there's... Um, like a type of ship, for example, that you can recover from pirate islands and you can repair it and uh, ah, get it working, as well yeah. as other ones that you can just craft or win from quests. So, you know, that remains kind of the goal uh, at the moment. Get right. a pirate ship at some point that we can sail around. So, yeah, I uh, hope you'll join me for when I do uh, raft, ne- uh, not raft, uh, salt next. Um, oh, nice. yeah. yeah. Thanks for joining me, Phil. No worries. Thank you for uh, letting me take part and Indeed. Uh, making progress. Yeah. So in the meantime, Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'll see you next time, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Interesting. Of course, it's all tea themed because it is the hatter after all. Oh, new enemy. Oh, I remember these. Hi, pops. These are a very imaginative enemy. Got that music. Kicking off a real kit. Take him down while I hit him on the eye. Get out of it. Yeah, yeah, you do that. <laughs> Take him out like so. Memories are coming back to me, everybody. Okay, took them out. Okay, we're... Well, there's a platform in front of cupping and sourcing now. Oh god, I see a ruin. And another eye pot, okay. That's lactation, you can see he's got all the milk. <laughs> oh god, see the guy up there. Oh god, I see you down there. Take out the insidious ruin. 